essentially a human rights and social justice movement has brought us together. We are self-organising and we are self-educating and we have the ability to mobilise hundreds of thousands of people and we will not be ignored and we will definitely not be manipulated. Yeah. Yeah. We will stand in solidarity with the Greeks, with the Spanish, with the Italians, with the working class people of Europe. But we the people say, no more. We will not stand by anymore in this country and watch this happen to our children. We, there's one thing, there's only one thing worse than corruption. And that is the acceptance of corruption. And we are now accepting corruption. today are telling Ian McKinney and telling John Burton and telling their likes that they, you are not going to acquiesce or going to pay their unjust tax. You are telling them that they are wrong. You are telling them that enough is enough. You are telling them that we are on our feet. We are on our feet and we're not going back on our knees. We're on our feet and we're going to do the right thing and get rid of Kenny, get rid of his rights and get rid of Burton and put a government in place that will represent your interests. Try to make us pay twice for water, but we say. Awaken the risen. It is long past time for a revolution, a revised constitution where the fat cats no longer get the cream. For like Dr. King, I too have a dream. Whereas people, our dignity and sense of self preserve us, where politics is not a career but a service. And I think that I can speak for the mammies in this campaign. <laughs> Water charges disproportionately affect women and children, the sick, the old, the elderly, the poor and the working poor. Water charges are part of an agenda that sucked the life from the bottom and the middle layers of society and to fatten the privatisers and the bankers and their servants, the government. Well, Mammy has a word to say about that and the word is no. And when Mammy says no, Mammy says no. It starts when it comes to your door on April Fools. It starts no. <coughs> Do not pay your water bills. Do not when it comes to the door, put in the bin, burn it, send it back to the okay, what's doing? Do not pay. It is our duty to fight for the future of our families and our children. We have been denied the right to a referendum to decide what we want done with our water. Yeah, they try to make us pay twice for water, but we say... No, no, no. Alan Kelly's so mad and the T-shirt's so sad, we say... No, no, no. Oh, they try to make us pay twice for water, but we say... No. What you're seeing here is all the people from the south side of the city and some people have come from Cove and Portleach. They joined us at Houston Station. So it's a fabulous turnout. We're delighted with it. Um, I don't know what to expect when we get up to O'Connell Bridge because all the people from the north side will be joining us there. And then there'll be people coming from Stevens Green and from Parnell Square. Penalties for non 
payment until July of 2016, after the next election. So people should stick together, refuse to pay. Irish water will be thrown into a major crisis, as will the government.
Marcus Howard, test one, two, three.